Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Dude. Currently rock hounding made a suggestion that I collect the top 10 rock hunting tips from my 500 subscriber giveaway comment thread and I thought it was a great idea. So I sat down and I started trying to do it and I realized there's no way I can pare this down to 10 tips. So we have here the top 20 rock hounding tips uh, from that thread. So thanks for the idea currently rock hounding and here we go. So this, this is going to be separated into three different categories. Equipment, spots, how to find great rocks, and finally just something we'll just call just do it. Number one, Lisa Galvin says, when hunting rivers, it's good to bring a stick or pole with a slotted spoon attached to the end that is sticking out perpendicular to the staff. That way you can scoop up a stone without bending down. You can also reach into the water and scoop up a rock. Also, fly fishing waders are helpful. Thank you, Lisa. Number two, Susan Boggs. This is, this is such a great tip. I forget it all the time. Keep a spray bottle and boots in the trunk of your car. I did that now and uh, Mike Lewis, I think it was, suggested that I also put salt in the, the water so it doesn't freeze because I'm living up here where we have winter. Um, so both of those are super good tips. Number three, Northern Rocks. Northern Rocks says we should bring a rake. You'll be surprised at what you can find. My tip here is a garden rake. If you're looking in a smaller rock, a good rock might be under the top layer, and if you see a rock out in the water and it's just out of reach, you can bring it in with the rake. It also doubles as a walking stick. Thank you, Northern Rocks. Number four, Tina Stoddard. I actually like to hunt at night with a bright flashlight or a flashlight from a camera. It's amazing what I found at night when the rocks are just a little wet and the, and the light shines on them. I have never tried that. I'd like to do so. So it's on my bucket list for later this summer. Number five, Goosraba. Goosraba says, my tip is to always bring a little magnet. You never know. That really strange rock you see might be an iron meteorite. Wouldn't that be something? Number six, my friend Thirstfast. Thirstfast, who is super helpful and is always offering tips and, and suggestions and identifications, and we just appreciate him so much, has this tip for us. Egg cartons and newspaper are great for transporting delicate specimens from the dig to your house. Number seven, FK. My couple tips are a good mesh bag for rocks attached to your belt rather than stacking rocks in your pockets. That's such a good tip. You know, my pockets are just nasty from all the rocks I put in them. And make yourself look up and around every once in a while when you're rock hunting. Your neck and back will appreciate it. Thank you, FK. Um, and there were so many great equipment tips that I wanted to just make a short, short list here of things that are must-have equipment, sturdy shoes, a spray bottle, walking stick, rake, or scoop, a backpack, digging tool, and finally, an emergency kit. Gotta stay safe out there. Let's move on to how to find the best spots. Ready? Number eight, Nancy Thompson. Nancy Thompson says, Google the area and ask others in groups about good places to go hounding, as well as just get in the car and go on an adventure to places you've never been before. I fully endorse this idea. Getting in a car and going on an adventure is something that we should all do at least once a month. Number nine, Old Guy Adventures. All the best sites I have ever been have been from knowledge I've gained from talking to old timers. They're mostly gone now. Their words I still remember like they told me yesterday, so my advice is to chat with old people. That's really good advice. Number 10. Number 10 is from Jeff Luca. Here's my best tip. Try to hunt in places where material is being steadily uncovered. Gravel pits, farm fields, and riverbeds. Number 11 is from Ben C. and Lots. 
he has two tips for us. Number one, use a black light with a wavelength of 365 when searching for fluorescing soda light. That's like the Uper lights that they find in Upper Michigan. I think those would be so much fun to find. And Ben has another little kind of bonus tip for us. Number two, that guy on the corner is not selling real diamond pendants for $3.87 or two for $6.50. Darn. Number 12, Mike Lewis. Mike Lewis says, first visit rock shops if possible. They can be great sources of information. Second, choose a stout four wheel drive to get you there and back. Third, read everything you can prior to going there. And finally, stay in shape. Three miles into a six mile hike is not the time to figure out your knee is going out. You know, I think rock hunting keeps us all in a little better shape than we might otherwise be just getting out there. But uh, he does have a good point that we're often in places that are far from medical aid. So make sure that you stay in shape and, and bring your emergency kit. Okay, so those are all the tips about spots. Uh, we're going to move on to technique, how to find great rocks. And we're going to start with I Love Rocks 123. She's in Australia and she has done some great video videos of her own, so go check her out if you get a chance. Uh, I Love Rocks 123. I do have a tip. If you make a find, squat down and scan the surrounding area. I've made some great second finds that way. Number 14, Jasper Blue. My tip is perseverance. There's always something new, no matter how many times you visit a location. And also to definitely get down on your hands and knees. And believe me, I wear knee pads and shin guards and get down at eye level. I've had so much success doing that. Number 15, Silverback. Keep your eyes open everywhere and for any different shapes, textures, and colors. There have been some great finds in areas other than the usual fossicking areas, such as parks, roadsides, excavation sites, and don't disregard your own local recreation areas. Fossicking is such a great word. I just learned it this year. Uh, it's an Australian word for rock hounding, and um, I just think it's a really fun one. Number 16, currently rock hounding. My advice is to Google the heck out of things before you go out if you're going to a new location. And if you're going to be looking for new materials, then search that location, search what the stuff looks like coming from that location, and have a plan. If you don't know what silver ore looks like, how are you going to find it when you go to that old silver mine? Hmm? Currently Rock Hounding also has a wonderful channel, lots of great videos. Go visit, it's good. Number 17. This is now in the category called Keep On Doing. Or if you want to be a Nike fan, just do it. Number 17, Mac Ock 21. My only real rock hounding advice is to just do it. Preparation is great and important, but don't let it get in the way of getting out and just getting it done. Everything else will come in time. That is such an important point. Just getting out and not worrying about, I don't know enough, I, do, I'm, you know, I don't have enough equipment, I don't have enough skills, I don't have enough uh, time. Whatever you have is enough. Just go out, get it done, and, and enjoy being outside. Number 18. This is from Agate Angler who is a uh, fellow who is out hunting some of the similar riverbanks as I am. Uh, he's up towards Billings. He has some really super nice videos. Check him out. And he writes, remember that the joy of rock hounding is not just in the finding of actual rocks, but in the experience as a whole. Don't let frustration over not finding many rocks prevent you from enjoying nature and time in the great outdoors. Absolutely yes. Number 19, a Bears fan for life. A Bears fan for life has a fairly short and succinct tip for us and I think it's very, very important. 
based on 30 plus years of experience rock hounding, the most important tip I can give is get off the freaking couch. And number 20. Keep on doing. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Uh, it's the little button down there. And uh, I will be back again soon with another video. So thanks for watching. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.